in the Supreme Court of Judicature of Jamaica, in the Civil Division. We have the claim number. So this is a divorce case between Vincent Lloyd Guthrie, the claimant, and Doretta May Guthrie, the defendant. Claim for division of property and other remedies under the property rights of spouses act section 14 whether suit brought within time specified in section 13 if not whether application necessary to extend time for bringing suit whether if no such application matter proceeding proceeds under ordinary principles are equity and trusts rights of bank account holder account holder liability for jointly acquired debts heard january 21 june 17 and july 9 2011 Mr. Borden Steer, instructed by Chambers, Bunny, and Steer for the claimant. The claimant is Mr. Guthrie. Miss Audrey Clark, instructed by Judith Clark and Company for the defendant, Mrs. Guthrie. The claimant and defendant who have been married to each other for some 34 years since 1977 separated in 2006 they have been they have between them three children and several pieces of real estate are now before the court in relation to claims by the claimant Mr. Guthrie over certain of the real property by way of a fixed date claim form dated June 17, 2009 the claimant, now the estranged husband, claims the following relief of our orders. A. That the claimant, Mr. Guthrie, is entitled to the entire beneficial estate in the property known as Lot 123 or Card Gardens Subdivision Hopewell in the parish of Hanover. Registered at volume 1313, folio 776 of the Register Book of Titles. That's A. B. That the claimant, Mr. Guthrie, is entitled to 50% interest in the defendant entitled and the defendant entitled to 50% in the property at Sheffield called Mount Zion in the parish of Westmoreland. Register that volume, 1214, folio 792, volume 1214, folio 793 of the Register Book of Titles. C. That the claimant, Mr. Guthrie, is entitled to 60% interest in the, and the defendant entitled to 40% in the property located at Lot 24, Pitt Kelly Subdivision West Cliff Estate in the parish of Westmoreland registered at volume 134, folio 933 of the Register Book of Titles. D. That the claimant is entitled to 50% interest in the and the defendant is entitled to 50% in the property located at 93. No parallel. Land Settlement Negril P.O. in the parish of Westmoreland. That's A, B, C, D. Four pieces of real estate so far. E. That a valuation agreed upon by the claimant and the respondent. That's agreed upon by Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Guthrie. Be taken and the, that costs of same be shared proportionally 
by the parties. F, that if no valuator can be agreed upon, then one shall be appointed by the register of the Supreme Court. G, that the claimant be given the first option to buy the said properties within 30 days of the receipt of the valuation. H, that should the claimant be unable or unwilling to exercise his first option to purchase them, then the said properties be put on sale on the open market by public auction or, auction or by private treaty. I, that the Register of the Supreme Court be empowered to sign any and all documents to make effective any and all orders of this honorable court if either party is unwilling, unable or unwilling to do so. So you, as you see, these are the common um, practices and orders by the courts in, re in relation to property during divorces. All right. Usually, that is a 50-50% rule and that the person who is claim who, who is filing the divorce is entitled to buy out the other or his or her spouse is 50% and if not then after a certain time a valuator be appointed to the agreed upon by both parties and if not the court will appoint a valuator to value the property and then it be sold on the open market by public auction or private treaty as they say here all right to continue that the defendant account for the monies removed from the joint accounts numbered and you have the numbers there held at ncb in the grill Okay, so Mrs. Guthrie had withdrawn some money from these joint account, right? From NCB Negril and also from NCB Capital Markets that she be made to account for the sums withdrawn. I had paused for a minute and looked up public auction versus private treaty um, this is a website called finder.com what it says when selling your house you can put it up for auction or sell by a private treaty many sellers believe an auction can get them a higher price but a private treaty can be less stressful here are our comparison of auction versus private treaty. It says, a private treaty sale is when you set the sale price and the real estate agent negotiates with the interested buyers to achieve the best possible sale price. Okay, a public auction involves prospective buyers bidding on the property at a specified location and time. The highest bidder purchases the property as long as the bid matches or exceeds their reserve price. Okay, so that's public auction or private treaty. Let's continue. K, that the defendant shall refund the claimant, that is Mrs. Guthrie, shall refund Mr. Guthrie one half of the payments made by him, by Mr. Guthrie, with respect to servicing the parties jointly acquired debts. So they borrowed money and Mr. Guthrie wants Mrs. Guthrie to pay him half of the payments made by him. So it seems he is the one who has been paying the debts. Okay. I search further and other relief 
that courts deems just and um, such costs are incidental to the proceeding. Right. The claimant claim, that's Mr. Buttry's claim. But by the way, what we are looking out for here is the decision by the court in terms of the claim here. Uh, where is it? The claimant is entitled to the entire beneficial interest in that property. Is the court going to agree or disagree? Because remember, the 50-50 rule is the norm, and then it's Mr. Gottrino who has the onus to prove that they should depart or disturb that norm. Is the court going to agree with him or to divide this property 50-50? Then there is the 60-40 on this other property. Is the court going to agree to disturb the 50-50 rule or to revert back to the 50-50 rule in this case? In terms of the money that Mrs. Guthrie withdrew from the account, what did she do with it? And will the court... Um, force her to pay back the debts. Uh, those are the four main things we're looking for and the arguments about them. All right. So, the claimant's claim, Mr. Guthrie's claim, is supported by his affidavit evidence containing five affidavits dated respectively June 19, 2009. October 22, 2009, January 19, 2010, July 5, 2011, and February 26, 2011. Mrs. Guthrie, the defendant, has herself filed four affidavits in response to the claim by her husband as follows. December 9, 2009, December 10, 2009, June 9, 2010, and March 31, 2011. Remember, the affidavit is a document that they sign, they swear by, and, they, and it can be used in court. Although the claimant, it's Mr. Guthrie, has set out in the fixed date claim form the various reliefs he is seeking, the defendant, Mrs. Guthrie, does not join issue with him excepting so far as the claim at paragraph A, C, K, and I. Paragraph A, C, K, and I. Let's see what that is. A is the property you entirely own. C, so here. Let me look back at it. What she's saying is that the defendant has her. No. Although the claimant has set out in the fixed claim form the various reliefs he is seeking, the defendant, Mrs. Guthrie, does not join issue with him except insofar as the claim. So she disagrees with A, C, K, and I. A, that he is entitled to the entire benefit. The entire property or the entire beneficial interest in this property. What does C say? C is this 40, 60 and the other property. So it seems as if she wanted 50, 50. K, that the defendant shall refund. Okay, she does not agree that she should refund him one half the payments made by him there. And I, such further and other relief that the court deems just. Okay, so she does not agree to those. These relate to the claim to property at Archard Gardens Subdivision in Opewell, Hanover, 
registered at volume 1313, folio 776 of the Register Book of Titles. Property at Pickenilly in the parish of Han Westmoreland and registered volume 134, folio 933 of the Register Book of Titles. A claim for the defendant to repay certain sums purportedly removed by her from joint accounts maintained by the parties at NCB, NCB Capital Markets and JMMB, and a further claim that the defendant should refund the claimant, should refund the claimant one half of certain sums paid by the claimant purportedly in servicing jointly acquired debts of the parties. Okay, so while the evidence adopted or adu adduced by the parties, all right, I just pa paused a while and looked up this word um, ADDUCED -E seems to be adduced. Um, it means to cite as evidence, all right? So while the evidence adduced by the parties covered many other issues such as the nature of their relationship, it will only be necessary to examine the evidence into those matters in respect of, the issue, of which issue has been jointed. Okay. All right, at this point, we will pause and continue reading in our next video.